Right. Just like the Simpsons, millions of people are waiting for the total solar eclipse to begin. The moon will move between the sun and the earth on Monday. It'll block out sunlight and create a shadow that will move from coast to coast across the U.S. for the first time in 99 years. The eclipse starts around 1 Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. It'll move east through a 70-mile wide path. 14 states from Oregon to South Carolina will witness the total eclipse before it ends around 3 p.m. in the east and noon in the west. CBS News Science and Futurist contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at the City University of New York, and he is just mildly excited. I told people <laughs> you were giddy. Is giddy good? <laughs> about, the, about the eclipse, he yeah. writes. Yeah. First of all, this should be on everyone's bucket list. Yeah. Okay? You just got to see it. Now, I'm a physicist, and this is about as close as a scientist can get to a spiritual experience. Oh, you feel like you're at one with the universe. Cosmic forces right there in your sunglasses. I just got it's goosebumps. It's incredible. No, I said that. Yeah. I know. It did give me goosebumps. Lonnie Quinn said that for him, it's like Christmas morning, that he's coming in on his day off because he wants to see it. He is that excited. You said that it's on your bucket list. And for, so for those of us who may not be as excited as you are, and there may be some people like that, what should we be looking for? What, what should we, how do we wrap our brains around what is actually happening here? Well, we are witnessing a cosmic coincidence. The sun is 400 times farther away than the moon, but it's also 400 times bigger than the moon. Yeah. And the two numbers cancel exactly, and that's why the moon is going to go right in front of the sun. Mm -hmm. This is a cosmic coincidence, and here we are to witness something like that in your own backyard. Yeah. What has science learned from from these total eclipses? Well, first of all, the, the fact that astronomers worked out the mechanics of an eclipse 2,000 years ago right. was the beginning of astronomy. Mm -hmm. That's where astronomy began to understand why we have eclipses, why the moon goes in front of, of the right. sun. Now we want to know about the atmosphere, the corona. It is too hot for its own good. It's about a million degrees, the atmosphere of the sun, but the surface of the sun is only 10,000 degrees. You know, there's a Nobel Prize waiting for someone who could figure out why the atmosphere is much hotter than the surface of the sun, which then was responsible for solar flares, gigantic solar flares that one day could knock out our satellites and power stations. So this is very practical. We have to understand the atmosphere to understand these giant coronal mass discharges, which could influence our satellites. And I see you already have your sunglasses. Yeah. It's I'm really all set important to go. for people to know that you really cannot look at it directly in, the, in, in your eyes. You may suffer retinal damage. Yeah. So get your sunglasses that are ISO certified, and then you can watch it, and for two minutes and 40 seconds, you'll commune with the universe. Uh, I do think right. that's exciting. I can't wait to talk to you after it. Mm -hmm. And during. Um, <laughs> yeah, and during. Yeah. Right. Michio Kaku, thank you very much. CBS News will bring you a special report on the total solar eclipse. You can watch starting Monday at 1 Eastern, noon Central, right here on CBS. Because even if you're not in the path of totality, you'll still see something. You'll still see something. That's right. Anyone in the continental U.S. will see a partial eclipse yeah. or total eclipse. I will be watching. Thank you very much.